Hey everyone, welcome to His Name Ministries TV. We're Brandon and Destiny Brim. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, today is your day. You're not just tuning in just to tune in, but you're here expecting to hear something from the Word of God that will forever change your life. What are you expecting? You know, it's, it's amazing when people uh, went to Jesus. They didn't just go up to Jesus not expecting anything. They expected their needs to be met. They expected the pain in their body to leave. Faith expects, mm -hmm. faith reaches out. I want to share with you guys uh, something that's been on my heart, and it's this, the authority that we have as believers, as Christians. We are no longer victims anymore, mm -hmm. but we are victors. Through what? Through what we did, through our own accomplishments, our college degrees. No, through what Jesus has done for us. It's not our righteousness. It's not how good we've been, but it's his righteousness that we have. In Romans chapter 5, verse 17, it says that we reign in life by one Jesus Christ, his righteousness. And it says that that word there, we reign in life by one Jesus Christ. That word reign in the Greek means uh, we reign as kings in life. That's how we're supposed to live, to reign as kings in life by one Jesus Christ. We have authority, the authority that Jesus has won for us. And it's time for us as believers to know this. Mm -hmm. And to use it. And to use it. Mm -hmm. You can use your authority. And you have been given the name of Jesus, the name that is above all names. No sickness is bigger than the name of Jesus. No problem is bigger than the name of Jesus. We've been given authority. We've been given his name. And that's the thing. The authority that we're using is the name of Jesus. Exactly. The power that is in the name of Jesus is what allows all this to work what Jesus did on that cross. Exactly. And it says this, that Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus wasn't manifested to just be worshiped and adored and be told how great he is. He was on a top level secret assignment, a secret mission to destroy the works of the devil. What are his works, Destiny? Mm -hmm. Steal, kill, and destroy. He, he won the victory for us, and he gave us the keys. He gave us his name. It's amazing that in the Ephesians, it talks about Paul. He's talking about your, the prayer armor and putting on the armor of God. But it says this, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. And it starts talking about that. And then in Colossians, it says that he made a show of the principalities and powers. He triumphed over them. A victory parade. Mm -hmm. Those principalities, those powers that we wrestle against, guess what? Jesus whooped them for you mm -hmm. and I. Amen. And also in Ephesians, it says this. When God raised up Jesus, he raised us up. When God sat down Jesus, he sat us down. Far above all principality, power, might, dominion, and every name that is named. We, Destiny, we operate mm -hmm. off another level. Okay. We are on another level. We don't need to look at things from below, but we look at things from above. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, the eagle, the eagle, it flies way higher than any other birds. And when it gets so high up in the air, it just, it relaxes and the wind mm -hmm. takes them everywhere. Mm -hmm. All the small birds are below, flapping their wings, mm -hmm. all this toil, all this work. The eagle's way above them and just enjoying it. That's how we are. Mm -hmm. We operate off another level, seated in heavenly places in mm -hmm. Christ Jesus. The authority that we have. Mm -hmm. Jesus operated with this authority, Destiny. Mm -hmm. You know the story. He's on the boat. They're about to be shipwrecked. They're, they're, they're crying. They're worrying. And Jesus says, hey, peace be still. Authority. Yeah. Authority. Mm -hmm. The authority that he had. Most well, some people today would say, you know what? The weather, God must have made this weather like this. It's amazing because Jesus is on the boat. 
If that was true, it says in the Word of God that Jesus only said what his Father said. He only did what his Father did. So there on the ship, he only said what his Father said. So his own Father, if he was making that storm, making those waves, why would he work against himself? No, that storm was of the devil. Mm -hmm. Jesus heard his Father say, peace, be still, and there was a perfect calm. Mm-hmm. Demon people, the, the people that how these demons and spirits coming up to Jesus, the authority he had, hey, come out of him in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. He operated in this authority. He was a son of God. He, he came down not as God, but he came down mm-hmm. as a man. And he modeled it, he modeled this for us: a man full of the Holy Ghost, a God man walking on earth, showing us that we have this authority. Mm-hmm. The authority that's been given to us. And like he said, we have authority over the weather. Like you grew up in the south or what they call tornado alley. So like he's used to seeing tornadoes and crazy weather. But I'm not. I'm from California. We only have earthquakes, which we kind of think earthquakes are fun. But we think tornadoes are fun. Yeah. (laughs) So um, when we first got married, we were driving from Texas to Branson, Missouri. And um, it was in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden we were in Oklahoma in like heavy rain and hail and like all the signs of a, ten- of a tornado. And I remember I was like, oh my gosh, this is so not fun. I like watching shows of tornadoes, yes. but being in like in one is not fun. So I remember that like once all the signs started happening, we put on worship music really loud and we just started coming against the storm. And I believe it worked because it stopped. It cleared out and we were able to tr- continue our drive. But you have stories of like your exactly. family speaking to the tornadoes, speaking to the storms, and they go right back in the sky. Exactly. And you know, the scripture, perfect love casts out all mm-hmm. fear. Fear is not of God. Any fear, you got to get rid mm-hmm. of fear. And when we were driving Destiny, I had no fear. Mm-hmm. I had such a peace that surpassed all knowledge and all understanding because I knew the authority mm-hmm. that we have. We've had a time where a guy almost tried to rob us. And I didn't know exactly what to do, but I knew about the name, mm-hmm. the authority mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. And I started talking about the name of Jesus and he saw God show up. He screamed, oh my gosh, my gosh, I see it. I see it. It's all over you. You're not just talking it. You're living it. You're not just saying words. I said, no, I'm living it. The authority in the name mm-hmm. of Jesus. God loves you. God has a plan for your life. There is power in that name. The authority that we have as believers. We are no longer victims anymore. We are victors. The devil has been defeated. Mm -hmm. He's a loser. Exercise that. Know that. The authority that we have. Amen. That's good. That's good. That's the key right there. That's the key. To live a victorious life. To live a victorious life, Mm -hmm. you have to do it and you have to know it. Don't just hear it and then forget about it, but know it, feed your faith upon Mm -hmm. it, and and know what the Word of God says about this, Mm -hmm. that He has, Jesus has won the victory for us. Amen. Well, we just want to encourage you to use your authority and know the power that's been given in the name of Jesus and that you have the power to use it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Connect with us, social media, our website, hisnameministries.com, and we'll see you later.